Hi, I'm Azalia. My job is to bring my industry knowledge as a diagnostic radiographer into the classroom to prepare students as they embark on a career in allied health. This knowledge I impart to students is relevant to what is applicable in the industry so their education isn't isolated from the actual industry environment. The university prepares us educators with training and support in their teaching practice with the necessary skills and the latest teaching technologies. This is helpful for professional officers with little or no teaching experience. There are also opportunities for us to engage in the field such as clinical placements, industry attachments and going to hospitals and clinics through our integrated work study programs. Students go up to the industry with their PO as a mentor. To make sure their placement is relevant to their skills, there is close supervision from the POs. Each student has a boss and a mentor. There are about 100 of us in the Professional Officers Division. We bring a diverse range of expertise from the industries that we are from. From time to time, POs from different clusters give presentations on their work, projects or conduct workshops. We learn about each other's disciplines across the various degree programs. I get to work and collaborate on projects with experts in that field. It's a close-knit environment, which is a little different from the corporate culture that I was previously from. Here, we share a common goal among the POs and faculty, which is to mentor students, equip them with the knowledge and skills needed for their future professional career. Learning never stops. As an educator, I also learn from the students. When students get back from their clinical placements, through their sharing and discussion sessions, Industry veterans like us relish the chance to have fresh perspectives and see new solutions to traditional challenges. If you like working with young minds or if you enjoy collaborating from people from other fields, there will be many opportunities for you to grow as you get involved with all the sharing, learning and teaching. You will really enjoy working as a professional officer in SIT. I know I do. I choose this path so that I can play a part in grooming a new generation of radiographers. Radiographers who have the right motivations of why they're going into healthcare. I hope that sharing of my experiences will translate into something useful as they start to face real-world challenges when they finally get in the field. Perhaps one day when they're commended for their work or as they progress through their career, it would be nice if they could say, I was taught by Azalea. Hi, my name is Bernard. Previously, I worked in a company that produced biologics drugs. And before that, I was doing bioprocessing research. One of the reasons I joined SIT is that I felt with my experience, I could help develop industry-ready engineers for Singapore biopharma field and the growing field of cell and gene therapy. What drives me every morning to go to work is the satisfaction from getting our graduates hired and staying in the industry we train them for. Also, the contributions we are making in terms of applied research indirectly helping the economy. It's really an ecosystem. I had a hand in developing the new pharmaceutical engineering curriculum. It is a specialized degree program with an applied learning approach, a more hands-on curriculum to enrich the learning journey. Doing my own applied research also contributes to the program. We recently got a grant to look at how to grow T cells productively to lower the cost for cell and gene therapy. All the knowledge that we learn and gain from trying to resolve these problems goes back into the curriculum for the students. The culture here is very supportive of learning and development. SIT knows that it's important for the faculty to keep up to date with the latest practices and technologies in the field. There are even opportunities to go overseas for training. This feeds into our knowledge of what is happening in the industry overseas and helps us to develop cost materials. I also learned a great deal outside my discipline. SIT helped me go to some leadership courses that augmented my people management skills. In every organization, there's challenges in managing manpower. And I think SIT has done well. They are certainly very open to letting staff explore, chart their career paths, for me, when I broach the topic of doing some consultancy work outside, 
The management was very supportive. They saw it as adding value, exposing the school to different projects. They let me find a way to synchronize the benefits to both the organization and the industry. If I could say one thing to someone who's interested in joining SIT, I would say, come and join us in this exciting and transformative journey. We are a place where the applied learning pedagogy is constantly being honed. There is great satisfaction from contributing, nurturing our next generation and doing exciting work in applied learning and applied research. I'm Kenneth. I'm the Deputy Director of the Centre for Communication Skills and an Assistant Professor in Applied Linguistics at SIT. One of my responsibilities is leading the Communicating Across Curriculum program. This program gives faculty from various programs the opportunity to seek support on specific communication and writing assignments for students. We work closely with them to develop workshops, co-assess presentations and offer consultations on draft student reports. Through this work, I have experienced positive team dynamics with faculty across the five academic clusters. For example, recently, in a collaboration with the engineering cluster, I coordinated technical writing workshops and a poster presentation clinic. Students develop solutions for identified workplace issues from their work attachments and prepared to present them as poster presentations. We then co-assess their poster presentations together with program faculty, professional officers, career coaches and industry partners. That is just one of many examples of not only the collaborative nature of our university's work culture, but the integration of industry perspectives and expectations into the curriculum here. I made the switch to join SIT for several reasons. Besides recognizing that SIT offers me excellent career progression opportunities, I was drawn to SIT's mission as Singapore's University of Applied Learning to produce industry-ready graduates and ensure our students leave with bright job prospects. Here we focus on enhancing student learning by keeping the curriculum updated based on industry feedback and pedagogical research. And it really shows in the amount of effort we dedicate to our modules. Plus, it feels like a family here. We have opportunities to meet the president and provost, formally and informally, as well as interact with other colleagues. We are a small team, lean but effective, and we work very well together, always open to sharing good teaching practices. I have a sense that this culture of opening doors to people comes from that singular pursuit of enriching our students' lives. SIT is not a typical university. It is not just focused on qualifications and publications. It is a university that wants someone who is connected to industry, someone who is a bridge between academia and industry. Hi, my name is Saleh. I work in SIT's admissions and the scholarship engagement program. My job entails assessing prospective students for admissions and financial aid. The chance to work at SIT came along in 2013. It was the first of its kind a new pathway for a more diverse body of students. I was drawn to building a real startup, a blank piece of paper, no policy, no SOP on how to conduct financial systems and scholarship programs. A chance to do things differently from other universities and think outside the box. Here, it's not just about admitting students with good grades. We look for more than that. It's a deeper process. We select students over different measures like critical thinking, awareness about what's going on in the world. Our scholars are grounded. They know what they want. Half of our student body is made up of students who are first in their family to attend university. Students who might not have had this pathway before we open. Now, they have a place in a university. When you help students with a bursary, they don't have to worry on how are they going to pay for the tuition fees? Do they have to work extra hours to pay for their food in the canteen? They can just focus on excelling in their studies. Seeing them grow as an SIT student and a citizen, watching them graduate, get good jobs out there and uplift their family, it's very satisfying. SIT has a crucial part in making that social mobility possible. Preparing people for an evolving workforce, offering them the specialized skills to go out there and make a difference in the industry. 
and in the lives around them. That's our purpose. My small part in that whole process is very enriching. If I could say one thing to someone interested in joining SIT, you must first of all understand what we are here for. That's very, very important. It's about having your heart in the right place, I would say, and make a difference, not only for your team, but those that come after you. Hello, my name is Salman. I'm with SIT's Estates Division, and one of my key operational duties is to work on our new campus at Congo. Since 2016, I've been leading the cost and contracts team in the construction of our new home at Congo. This is one of the most exciting projects in my career. It's a rare and unique opportunity, and I'm humbled and privileged to be overseeing a project of this size and nature, a project in excess of 1 billion, one of the biggest in Singapore at the moment. There have been several exciting challenges on the project right from the onset. We needed to do value engineering to meet budgets and timelines, adapt to various protocols from the different ministries, and then navigate our way through the presentation and gateways to get the all clear for construction activities to begin on site. These involved intense discussions with consultants, senior management, and the ministries as well. Every step of the way, however, we were provided with support and constructive feedback from the SIT senior management team to help guide us on the processes. The culture at SIT is one of openness, enabling everyone to bounce ideas off each other and tap on each other's skill sets based off our diverse backgrounds, as some of us come from civil, architecture, M&E, and cost and contract backgrounds, all in communication on different aspects of the project. This enables everyone to learn from each other's past experiences and look for any pitfalls to avoid. SIT is a young university that is still growing and it is satisfying to be part of that growth together. One can join an organization where everything is already put in place, but I'm not sure if you'd really have the opportunities to maneuver or reimagine how things can be done as you would be here in SIT.